place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. Faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. Hey guys. Good afternoon. Welcome back to a new vlog. This is the first time that I'm speaking to the camera this entire day. Started off doing like a little bit of a montage, but we've had such a productive day today and it's going to continue to be just as productive. I have so many things that I want to get done and I feel like I'm in such a good mood today too. Yesterday was like the complete opposite if I'm just going to be real and honest with you guys. I was having such like a rough, hard day mentally but we're through it. I think it has something to do with me being on my period this week. Just yesterday, it hit me hard. I was so tired, you know, but we're on a good path for today. So um, it's officially like lunch time and I wanna run out and do like a couple of quick little errands. I am getting this package together. I sold something on Poshmark and I want to go drop it off. But at the same time, I'm starving and I need lunch, right? And I was thinking about ordering Chipotle. Because why not? Sounds delicious. As always, I mean, really, I get it like once a week. You know, treat myself. Okay, let's do for pickup. Cool. I have a meeting at one, so I need to like hurry back for my meeting and I might be able to eat lunch after my meeting not that much time here it is like a really warm day i mean it's 63 right now but in seattle you guys know like this is so nice and it's like super super sunny so what i'm wearing today is like this sweatshirts 
kind of like a full matching sweat set honestly it's from aritzia and it's all in that heather cloud white color i forget what it's called but i have like an oversized crew neck sweatshirt these sweat shorts and then one of these tank tops that you guys saw in my most recent Aritzia haul video. Just started to have it off because it was getting hot, but with going outside, I'm wondering if it might be like a little bit breezy. So I'm gonna put it back on. Okay, let's chat in the car. <sighs> such a beautiful day. My God, this makes me always in like such the best mood. Okay, so to recap the few things that I'm going out to do right now. So I need to drop off um, a couple of packages. Actually, I forgot about one that was sitting downstairs when I was walking out the door. I'm going to drop it off at FedEx, but we're going to pick up Chipotle. We're going to pick up our lunch. And then I also wanted to go to California Closets. I ordered an extra rod for my closet in like my main bedroom because I want to try something out. I am starting to run out of space essentially and i had this idea okay let me back up mostly space around like having pants like i have so many more pants than when i originally designed this closet and so i have such like a small i guess like hanging space and i don't really have a ton of things that require like a long hang and if i do i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on one side like it's only a couple of things you know mm -hmm. so i was thinking about converting that long hanging section into like essentially splitting it to being like a two hanging section um and then just all of my pants that are hanging just like on what kind of a hanger is that? Like a suit hanger, like with the little clips? <laughs> Instead of um, having them hang along like that, folding them in half so that I can have more space. I mean, theoretically, I hope. Like, it will give me more space. I know, like, I'm kind of going a little bit wide by folding, but in my mind, like, it's going to work. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it does. So, long story short, I need it to go pick up that extra rod that I ordered. It finally came in. I ordered it like two weeks ago. And then we can reorganize and structure my closet together later. I thought that that would be really fun for us. So let's hope it is first ready for pickup, but then also um, that it all works out. <laughs> wow, Chipotle is busy. Time to break for lunch. I do have a meeting in 45 minutes. So I think that that's like a good amount of time now. I'm still in my office and I forgot that I wanted to show you guys something. So I swapped out the curtains in my office. I ordered like white linen, light filtering, whatever they're called, um, curtains. Cause the ones I had before in here were like blackout curtains. And this room, isn't meant for sleeping because it's an office so i wanted curtains that would like let the light through they came in yesterday and i got them hung up and i am in love with them let me show them to you so they're the kind that have like the pinch pleat at the top um but yeah they're white they're linen they're gorgeous they are the exact same ones that i have downstairs in the library they are just like so soft they are incredible i feel like that helped to like brighten up the room it looks nice and refreshed but now it has me wondering if i should swap out the ones in the main bedroom like our bedroom over here definitely still have ones that are blackout curtains but have like those linen ones with the blackouts and have them white just to like brighten up the room a little bit because these ones i mean they're beautiful it's just like a little bit so like matchy matchy i mean it's the same color as like the rug as the bed frame which i love you know what i mean like i liked that originally but now i'm just like maybe i should break up the colors a little bit and then the white curtains would tie in with the white bedding and then the white lamp shades you know like it might 
look really good so now i'm debating doing that also another point with it hopefully you guys can see but i did like a poor man's job at mimicking a pinch pleat at the top that looks so bad and also it is three panels on each side so when we go to close the curtain we have to pull like each one separately you see and so i was looking at the linen ones and i can order ones wide enough where it's just like two curtains instead of having like six curtains which i'm really leaning towards i love that and then obviously i would have like an actual pinch pleat at the top too and it would be like the same length so i'm feeling like i might do it and i'm kind of excited about that so random home things to update you on oh i also did end up picking up the extra closet rod like hanging rod so we can mess around with that later woohoo it was in stock i was able to get it but first and foremost we need to go downstairs and eat our chipotle eat lunch i didn't check this before i left so i'm hoping that it is all right i really did start to check it every single time i would leave make sure that it was the correct order but you know just didn't do that this time it was like crazy busy in there ah delicious Ooh, let's go watch like a little show or something figure out what to watch maybe a sailing yacht Update on Oliver is that he is still doing absolutely amazing with his inhaler. Aren't you? Do you have to sneeze? <laughs> that was a funny change. So happy that it's working and he's just like doing so much better. Warms my heart. Rather not made out with Gary at all. But Alex was very, very, very drunk. And uh, a girl needs to be the mat. <laughs> left my camera in the living room when I went upstairs and worked, but it's after five and I am officially done working. I think it was like a solid day of work and I got a lot of things checked off, but at the same time, like more things were added on, but it's fine, I'll take it as a win. An apple sounded really good for a snack. And also a couple of grapes, make ourselves like a little plate here. I am so excited to now move on to just like after work things and relaxing. Ah, it's just like that immediate like sigh of relief. You're like, yes, the main work day is over. So for sure, immediately after or during this snack, we're gonna move on to the closet. Cause I'm like really excited about that and to see if all of it's gonna like work out. But then I would also like to pick up like my personal laptop and kind of do some like forward looking planning into like the rest of this week but also next week too i think it's next week i forget what day it even is but we are going on like a little trip soon just to like take some much needed time off i haven't taken any time off from work since the holidays i cannot believe that so we're just gonna take like five days less than a week off just like a little quick little trip sort of a situation we're gonna go down to arizona um arizona and scottsdale it's like one of my favorite places fun fact i really wanted to move there in my early 20s and i was so close to doing it like i was looking at places and everything i love the desert i love dry heat and something about scottsdale it just like it's something i vibe with no, like have you ever just visited a place and you're just like wow i can really see myself living here scottsdale is like that for me and it's kind of funny because i feel like you would usually pick like i don't know uh a, a, like hawaii <laughs> or something like that so it's just so funny that it was um scottsdale at the time for me and i still really love it i've gone there so many times like upwards of 10 times it's yeah like i said just one of my favorite places to go so soak up some sun some really hot sun hopefully i don't burn too bad but back to my point i need to look at everything that i need to accomplish before we leave on the trip obviously trying to do some packing and seeing if i can record that too if that's something that you guys would all be interested in but looking at like my content calendar and my schedule and when i want to get things posted and aligning that oh enjoying some tv too later doing our nighttime skincare together as well and there was like this new shaving cream that i really wanted to try so we can probably try that later too someone just pinged me 
It's so old. Mmm, that's juicy. What I was gonna say. I find that just like finding the little things to look forward to really helps to boost my mood. So like looking forward to having like the snack and working on my closet or looking forward to like going for a walk or just looking up at the sky and just like appreciating things. I have found just like finding those small moments of appreciation have really helped me. So like a little tip for you guys if you struggle like I do. And here we have it. Can we take a moment of like silence for my nails? I took off all of like the gel polish yesterday just because like my nails are breaking and are so weak right now that I was like, let's take it all off and have some time like a week or so without it just to hopefully strengthen things up. But yeah, it's super tragic and sad. <laughs> Don't look at them. You know what? I think it makes more sense for me to do like a little bit of planning now before tackling the closet just so that i can enjoy like my snack at the same time it only makes sense so <laughs> so i have my computer right here and then i also have my planner as well i have done planning sessions with you guys before in the past so i'll try to link those videos where i like truly go into detail with how i structure my calendar and organize my life essentially but I'll go into detail like a little bit right now as I'm like starting to go through it. Moment for a bite. So the best way that I have found success with staying organized and staying productive and on task is to put everything into a calendar. And what I mean by that is utilizing like a physical calendar like this digitally. You can use like a Gmail one. I use the one that just comes with Apple products like the Apple calendar and I time block time block time block time block like if you guys have never tried it before I highly encourage you guys to do it especially if you just have a lot going on if you have like work and kids and trying to keep up with kids schedules or if you're like me and have like multiple businesses this is the easiest way just to keep everything organized and block your day to tackle everything that you need to do and it's like the most realistic way of knowing how long a task takes like for instance if you just have like a task list and you just have things written down without time blocking not all tasks are created equal and take the same amount of time like something could take you 15 minutes to do like watering your plants or it could be like a full-on project or like i have to sit down and edit a video like that doesn't take 15 minutes it takes like upwards of like three to five hours so it truly is the best way to know if you can fit everything into like your day and I know a lot of people structure of like three things I need to accomplish today You could still utilize that and put it in but at least you know like how long those three tasks take And if you have time to fit in other things into your schedule or maybe you're like good I feel just as good accomplishing those three things So i'm gonna give myself some like relaxing time, you know as an example I'll give you the breakdown of like how today was structured for instance. So I woke up at 8 30 I did my workout this morning. It was 30 minutes and then I went and took a shower and got ready. So I was effectively ready to start my day at 8.30. I have a work block from 8.30 to 11.45. So that includes just getting set up for the day, looking at my work to-do list, going through all of my emails, and then start to tackle everything on my to-do list for work. And any meetings during that time frame are included within that work block too. And then for 15 minutes, I spent uploading content to Instagram and TikTok today from 11:45 to noon and then as you guys saw for 30 minutes i went out to grab lunch and ran a couple of errands i came back and then went back to work from 12 30 to 1 30 and within that time frame i had a meeting and then i had my lunch for 30 45 minutes from 1 30 to 2 let's just say and then i had a meeting from i think it was like 2 20 to 3 and then i had my work block from 3 to 5 so that's how like so far today has been i don't have this afternoon quite structured out as far as like doing my closet and vlogging for instance like having time dedicated right now sitting down i have a little bit of like flex time which is really great but i do have time set aside later today to start to edit this vlog for instance so for tomorrow i need to essentially set up my day similar to how i did it for today and figure out what else i 
need to do so this is where i'll like take my planner and like kind of like mind dump everything that's on my mind every single little task that i feel like i need to do for instance what came to mind is i took oliver to the vet so i need to file a claim with his insurance let's write that down and then after i'm done writing down my list then i'll take each of those things and block it on my calendar for whatever day i feel like i need to do that between now and say a week from now or maybe it's something that i'm thinking that's like farther out but at least just put it on the calendar so then i never will forget about it you know so let's just take some time i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna eat my snack finally too <laughs> Okay, let's do this. First and foremost, let's unwrap the new rod that we will be installing. So, I think you guys can see it uh, a little bit, but there's like this long hanging section that's over here in the corner, and I'm gonna split it into two, similar to like this. It just won't have like a shelf, like this shelf separating it, but that's okay. I guess I could have ordered that, but you know, I didn't. Also, a few other changes that I've made in the closet. So I ordered a second, or technically, is this the third time? <laughs> I can't remember now. But I've ordered a, like um, a few extra shelves from time to time just to like make more room for more shoes. I think I've officially maxed out though. So an extra shelf came in, um, I want to say like four days ago. I think it was this one right here this shelf so that I could fit one two three four five six more shoots on this so I mean it is packed as can be <laughs> but this is honestly nice because all of my shoes are in one place like I had them separated to downstairs too so no more all my shoes are in one place well, I guess I'm lying right now. My sneakers, like my workout shoes, those are still technically on the first floor because I work out on the first floor and sometimes I wear shoes and it's just like I'm going outside. I don't know, it just like makes more sense for those sort of shoes to be on the first floor. Same with like, why am I struggling? Like snowshoes, I don't have that up here either. Besides the point, majority of like my day-to-day -day shoes are up here. Okay. Can we stop struggling? That would be great. I love how I'm just like placing you in the closet. Okay. Move all of this out of the way. Do -do -do. Just remembered that no, one of the nails just broke more. Let me go file this real fast. But I have more hangers in my mailbox that I probably need to go grab. They are like this kind of hanger that I'm gonna be moving to. So from this that I was trying to explain earlier to this. <laughs> this looks relatively easy. I want it to hit though. Try it like this and see how we do. So I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I can move all of my shorts and skirts over to here. Now I have more room for my jeans.
Okay, we are finished. I really like this, like having it split into two. I feel like it actually holds more, which I was concerned about because with folding it adds like more width this way, you know, but I thought I was gonna lose some space, but I ended up getting like all of my shorts over here too. I had some sitting in my office, like some of like the new Aritzia ones that I got, like this one. And I just got these in this past week, which I love, it's the same style as the linen ones. And then added these ones back here too. Oh, and then also like my Reformation ones too but anyways it's nice to have like all of my shorts up here not including my jean shorts because i just have those like in a drawer but like these ones that i don't necessarily like want to crease i like to have hanging in the closet the only thing that i noticed i went and picked up the package with the hangers in it but the hangers are like this they like face the opposite direction <laughs> as the other ones that I have. So I actually really like this more. I feel like it's a cleaner look than having like this poke out. So I went ahead and switched out all of my jeans to that one, but I'll need to order like another pack to convert all of my other um, ones to that style because you'll see I still have these and then up here is kind of like a mix between the two as well so after i get another pack of it i'll go through this and reorganize it a little bit better especially trying to figure out like if i want it by color or maybe i want like the ones i reach for the most like together and maybe down here and closer to reach for instance so i don't know i need to play around with it a little bit but don't you think like having it face this way ah you guys it just looks so much cleaner so i'm really really happy about that but that was like a fun little project when I went to pick up the hangers from the mailbox, I also had a refill of the cloth that I used to wipe my face in the morning and night in place of like a washcloth. It's like a disposable one and it is microdegradable as well. But yeah, I needed like a refill of them. It came in like this huge package. This lasts me like five or six months like it lasts a long time because within it it has like three of the small ones and it's a 50 count in each and i use one one a day so yeah that that's a long time <laughs> but what's so nice is that i have like this thing that like fits them perfectly in my drawer i got these from the container store so i always just like reach in here grab one sort of a thing super nice I briefly mentioned it earlier, but I have like this new body hair removal cream that I wanted to test out. I did do like a spot test a couple of days ago just to make sure I didn't have like any major reactions and we're good to go. So I want to do this on my full leg. Essentially what this is, is that it kind of reminds me of like Nair. <laughs> is anybody old enough to remember that? Is that still like around? But like this seems more gentle and the smell is like a million times better. Like I love the fragrance of this, but it's Flamingo. And it is essentially like a cream that you put on your legs or it could also be your underarms. Where else does it say? Your bikini line, your arms or your stomach are the recommended locations. But you essentially put this cream on, you let it sit for five to 10 minutes and then you use this spatula to like remove all of your hair. Like it all lifts to the surface. So then you just like wipe it away. And why I even wanted to do this is because I have lots of blonde hair on my legs and it's really hard to see if I got everything from shaving until I'm like in the sun and I'm like oh my god I miss like major spots so with this you don't miss anything because it literally just removes all of the hair the blonde hair included I got this off of Amazon and it came in a pack of two you guys it smells so good and I like that it came with like this little spatula so you use this to like apply it and you also use it to remove it but let's do this I'm thinking I'm gonna sit like over by the tub <laughs> okay I'm feeling like when I start this, I'm not gonna wanna move and walk around because I might like brush up against furniture or something or Oliver. <laughs> so I have my phone here so that I can like watch some YouTube or distract myself for 10 minutes because it is only 10 minutes, but I'm next to this tub so that I can like obviously rinse it off. So let's go ahead and do this. <sighs> I'm also curious to see like how long this thing would last you know like how many times could i do this 15 times you know well this actually would take 
forever using the spatula. Like, do you see this, guys? Okay, super difficult to do behind your legs. Okay, this might be a uh, TMI, but I figured I would just show you. So you see how like there's this hair on my leg, right? Just watch it disappear. I feel like that's insane, right? Like, wow. Okay, wow. Well, it is so smooth, like a baby's bottom. Like, I don't know if my legs have ever been this smooth before. It's kind of impressive. And then I just threw on this body butter. It is such a good one. I like it because it's whipped and then the ingredients in it is really good too. So nice and hydrated. So my overall review on it or rating on it, I would say it's like an 8.7 out of 10. Like I actually really liked it. I like how smooth my legs are. I feel like it got all of the hair. And then as I continued to do it, I realized instead of like pouring it onto the spatula and then apply it, just like apply it in lines onto your leg or to wherever you're doing it and then spread it out with the spatula. That would speed up the whole process so much more. But apart from that little learning curve, I would say that the only like main cons about it is one time, like obviously shaving is a little bit faster than this. I think it took me like what, 25 minutes to do it. Two is that it does start to like get a little itchy, but once you obviously take it all off, then you're good to go. But then I wanted to be like super thorough to make sure all of it was off. And then I just like wet a washcloth and then like soaked my leg that way but all in all i actually really really liked it and i cannot believe like how smooth my legs feel right now but while we're in the bathroom and because it's almost 8 p.m already let's just go ahead and move on to our nighttime skincare oh my makeup is separating so it's like long overdue i didn't like powder my face so i knew that this was gonna happen this is why you powder carissa but i'm just gonna go in with my bioderma micellar water this is the sensitive one i've been using this for years it really is perfect for like acne prone skin um it truly is like really sensitive so i kind of just like hold it over my eyes if i have like a lot of eye makeup on today don't but just to let it penetrate before you start to like wipe it you know but i'll take this and take off all of my makeup before going in with a cleanser and for my cleanser i have still been using this one it is so good it's not going anywhere anytime soon i really 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 like it so i kind of take like a pump and a half of it wet my hands not my face and then start to like massage it in for like a good minute or two We're gonna not necessarily like pat it all the way dry. I still want some like wetness to be left on my skin for like my toner and products. That cleanser gets your face so clean, but it doesn't like overstrip it. It feels so good right now. So for tonight, I am gonna go in with my retinol. So typically I use this toner. This has been game changer for my skin and helping with breakouts. The salicylic acid in this is like game changer, you know? And I can mix that active with the retinol from, oh my God, Oliver scared me with his scratching. I was like, who's in my house right now? But you can mix an active like salicylic acid with the retinol 
but because my face is still trying to get used to the retinol, I'm trying not to use it. On the same night that I'm doing retinol, I'll go in with like this soothing toner instead. This is the one I use in the morning. But I think as of right now, I've been going in like every other night or every two nights with the retinol. And if you didn't watch my last video, I ended up getting like a new retinol. I'll show it to you in a second. And I've been using it ever since that video. <sighs> So this is snail mucin that I just put in. I'm kind of doing like a sandwich. I want to do like tons of moisture onto my skin and then go in with the retinol and then I'll seal it with like a nice moisturizer afterwards. So I have been using the Glow Skin Beauty Retinol and what is it called? Resurfacing Serum and this has honestly been so good it hasn't broken me out at all if anything it's actually been healing some of my breakouts like i had tons of bumps over here and a few over here from using niacinamide and this like completely cleared it up and i feel like my skin is like really soft with using this too so good signs so far so i'm going to continue to use it but i have been looking into like potentially switching over to like trentinoa so We'll see if I do that like soon. Like I feel like I wanna get used to this retinol before I like up the strength, you know? Even if it is like a low percentage. Trentinoin, like I don't wanna freak out my skin too much, but I know trentinoin's like amazing for acne and could be really good for like melasma too. Instead of using like a hydroquinone, which I'm so used to using on my skin, it doesn't really do anything for my melasma anymore. I thought maybe like switching it up entirely with like a different product, you know? So keep you posted on that if I end up doing that because it requires a prescription to get trentinoin. Looks like I got one new acne, like little pimple today. I wonder if it's from the new concealer that I'm trying, but apart from that, I just have like these two spots. It's hormonal, I'm on my period right now. But other than that, like I feel like my skin is looking really good right now. So I'm very happy about that. I'm kind of just chatting to let this dry down a little bit. Cause I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. Actually, I'm gonna go in with this calming serum from Beauty of Josen just to like add a little bit more moisture back to my skin. It just helps with preventing my skin from drying out because of the retinol. And then this moisturizer, this gel moisturizer is amazing if you have combination oily skin. It has been really keeping my face matte throughout the day and then like I wake up in the morning and my face isn't oily like I used to wake up with like oily skin and since switching to that gel moisturizer like I don't wake up with oily skin which is oh my god game changing so I feel like it's even helping my makeup last like a little bit longer too besides from today when I didn't set it with powder <laughs> and there we have it that is my full nighttime skincare I still feel like I am glowy and it feels like super hydrated too. So I'm in love with this routine. I have been still looking at like more products and stuff like that. I'm in my era of just trying new things for my skin and seeing what works. So it's been a fun like little journey, but I have been loving like this little routine for what the last like week and a half. <laughs> Oh, and then let's top it with this Restore. It's a healing balm, but really it's kind of just like a lip balm at the same time. I have been glued to using this and this really has helped keep my lips really moisturized too. And then I love the clean ingredients in it. It's not gonna like clog your pores or anything too, so. There we have it. Oh, and then when my skincare dries down like a little bit more, I'm gonna put these hero patches on these two spots and I'll sleep with them overnight. Okay, let's exit the bathroom. Let's figure out what else we need to do tonight. Wow, it's gotten dark. Oh, Oliver, is it dinner time? Oh, you guys, outside is like a jungle. I love it. Oh, I love listening to the birds too. The birds are back. Everything's growing. There's still like a few bushes that need to like grow more, but oh, this is my favorite time of the year. Like when back here, it just looks like a full on crazy jungle. <laughs> is someone hungry? Do you want your food? Oh my gosh, he's running, not even waiting. He's like, give me my food now, right? Okay, <gasps> we need to do this, Oliver. Oh no, Juan's not home, we need to do your asthma. Oh, 
I'm giving it to you. Relax. Are you wanting it or something? Let's go. Go. Here you go, baby. So I made myself a little snack plate for dinner. I'm not super hungry, especially after my snack, and Chipotle was like very, very, very filling too. So this will do just great. Got a little salami, some carrots. These are stuffed olives, like jalapeno stuffed olives. Oh, they're so good. These pretzel crisps have been my new favorite obsession, and they are zero fat too, which is incredible too. And then I have some smoked Gouda cheese over here. Yummy. I'm absolutely going to eat this in bed and watch a little something. I have been watching The Diplomats on Netflix and I think that I have one more episode to go. So I'm going to watch that. But this just reminded me, Netflix just reminded me, Bridgerton. Uh, hello, Queen Charlotte. I binge watched that over the weekend, this past weekend. It was so good, so good. And I didn't even know that was like coming out too so it was like a really nice surprise oh my god i love bridgerton like all of it <laughs> okay diplomat episode eight let's do the damn thing Wow, you guys, that last episode of The Diplomat was absolutely insane. I feel like it's a, um, what's it called? Like a slow burner. Like, I feel like it took me a few episodes to really get into it. Like, the first few episodes towards the end is, like, what kept me hooked. And then, as it progressed, like, it was just so good. So I recommend that you guys check it out but i've already gotten ready for bed i'm gonna probably watch something else i'm still waiting for juan to get home he's out with a couple of friends so it's been nice to kind of have like a night alone to myself and i love that i haven't been working either typically like right before bed i'll have like my laptop on my lap watching tv and like working and it feels so good to just like really put that aside and just have like some non-working time honestly but i really hope you guys enjoyed spending this productive day in my life with me i have a little bit of a list because of my night retainers but anyway i love you guys so much i hope you guys are having a wonderful week and i'll see you in a couple of days in my next video bye, bye.